Mummy, I have an assignment. Can you help me, please? Sure, son. Come over and sit here. Mummy, what is a visitor? Okay, a visitor is someone who comes to our house to say hi and goes back to their own house. Do you get it? Yes, Mummy. Are you sure? Yes. All right then, give me an example of who you think a visitor is. Hum. Daddy. Precious, I'm not a visitor. I'm your daddy. But Mummy just told me that anyone that comes to our house and goes back is a visitor. So, Daddy your visitor. Really? Mummy, is Daddy not a visitor? N, no. So Dad, who is a visitor? Imagine my son just called me a visitor. Honey, are you okay? Dear, he called me a visitor. Our son called me a visitor. You can't blame him, sincerely you can't. He hardly sees you at home. You are always coming and going. We can't even boast of 30 minutes of a family time throughout a week. Honey, Monday to Friday you are going to work and even Saturdays that you are supposed to stay with us at home, you are buried with one work or the other. And not just that alone, before he wakes up, you're off to work and when you get back, he is asleep. So, don't blame him for thinking you are a visitor in your own house. But I go to work, I have to provide for the family, good education for him, buy him good clothes, he goes on vacation. All of these costs money and this money comes from the work I do. Honey, I can say it boldly anywhere in the world for anyone to hear it, that you are the best husband anyone can have or ask for. And also the best dad. I know you are trying and you just want the best life for us. But you see, Precious needs more than that. The clothes, bags vacation and all of that cannot replace or take the place of the time you share with him. Someday in the future, your work will end, you are going to retire and you are going to need people around you. And the best person you can have is your family. And he is going to be the one to give you that sakaur. Our kids are our friends. I know I'm doing my responsibility as a wife. I'm there for him as a mother, but I cannot step into your shoe as a father. You have to fill that part of his life and his future will appreciate it. And the economy? We will survive. It's not about the big house and all of that, we will survive. Why don't you get a job closer to the house? She will be able to see you frequently. Is that what you want? I don't want you to be a visitor in our child's life. Okay. Are you a visitor in your own house? This is a question every parent should answer with all honesty. Dear brothers and sisters, the responsibility of a father is beyond physical needs, the most important thing needed in the life of our children is the presence of their parent in the house and this will give birth to their spiritual and emotional needs. Father and mother must be balanced. King Solomon, the wise king called himself I am my father's son. King David was close to his son and taught him deep things even though he's so busy being a king. Brothers and sisters, that's all for this video. If you liked this video, feel free to like it, comment and share with people around you so that a soul will be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to Hope and Dominion Christian Animation Channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless and remember, Jesus loves you.